Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about a very very important coding questions, and this question is from Essential Coding Test, and this is a string type question. Okay, so before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel, and if you have not joined to our Telegram group, then please join there. And after watching the whole video, if you find it helpful then please give it a like and share it with your friends okay so you now in essential coding test the previous question repeats sometimes so you have to prepare well for the essential coding test and please watch the whole videos and watch all the videos in this essential coding test series and you will get a minimum idea how to solve the questions and what types of questions asked in the essential coding test so you will get an idea from there and sometimes the same question may be asked in the essential coding test okay so today we will discuss about the coding question which is password checker problem and this question was came in essential coding test and this is a very very important coding question and first we will discuss about the problem and how to solve it and then we will write the code okay so this is a string type question and you will be given a string so suppose string str is valid is treated as valid password so you know what is a valid password and what is invalid password so the valid password is a password if satisfied some requirements that is here for valid password this condition must be satisfied if all of these conditions satisfied then this will be treated as valid password otherwise this will be treated as invalid okay so string str is a valid password if at least four characters are present inside this string so inside this string at least four characters must be present and the second is at least one numeric digit must be there in the password and at least one capital letter must be there and must not have space or slash okay so there will not be any space or slash into the password okay and the starting character must not be a number so if it is a valid password then the password will not be started with number so it will not be start with space or slash also okay so these are the all conditions so we can solve all of these using if else condition okay so how we will solve it so we'll see it so before that so suppose you are giving and string like this a v c and then d and then one two three so let's see if it is a valid password or not so if it is a valid password then the program will return one otherwise it will return zero so check the first condition at least four characters are present yes four characters so more than four characters are present so this is valid then at least one numeric character yes numeric character present at least one capital character yes capital character is present must not have space or slash so there is no space or slash starting character must not be a number so starting character is not a number so this is a valid password okay so there is another input like like gk underscore 29 AV. so if this is a valid password or not so you can see all of these conditions satisfied except this one so at least one capital letter so there is no capital letter so this is invalid so this will return zero and this is a valid so this will return one okay so we'll write the code and we'll check all of this condition using a for loop and we'll iterate through the string and we'll check all of this condition so let's write the code okay so here first write the basic format of the c plus plus so first write here has to include i stream using namespace standard okay so first write the main function here and inside this main function write a string so string str okay so input string from the user so scene str okay so now write the function so the name of the function is suppose password and 
inside this function all right the string is here okay so again write the function here and the return type is integer so write int password and inside this all right so string so we have first year string so write a string and the name of the string is suppose s so you can uh, write it str or s anything okay so inside this we'll declare number and capital letters so first make number so number as false okay so first write number as false and okay boolean and then capital so capital letter as false so if the length of the password is less than 4 then it will return 0 because at least 4 characters must be there in the password so for that we can write here if so if s dot length that is the length of the string so s dot length is less than 4 if this is less than 4 then we will return 0 okay so now there are also another conditions like you can see here at least one numeric digit must be there and starting character must not be a number so starting character must not be a number that is the starting character must not be a number and all the characters must not be numbers so for that we can write here if so s of 0 greater or equals to 48 and s of 0 less equals to 57 that is the first character so s of 0 that means the first character must not be the numeric value so the range of the numeric values in ascii is 48 to 57 so s of 0 if s of 0 is greater than 48 and s of 0 is less than 57 then we'll return 0 so for this case we'll return 0 because this is an invalid condition okay so now we'll write a for loop and for int i equals to 0 i less than i less than the length so i less than s dot ln gth so i less than the length of the string so i plus plus and inside this for loop we'll check again if s of i is space or s of i is slash so if s of i is space or s of i is slash then we will return zero because here you can see must not have space or slash so if space or slash includes then this is invalid so this is not valid so for that we have right here if s of i equals to space or s of i equals to slash then we will return zero and then there is another condition like else if s of i greater than equals to 65 and s of i less than equals to 90 that is this is the range of capital letters so if s of i is between the 65 and 90 that is if this is capital then we will do this cap variable as true initially the cap variable was false so now if there is a capital letter present inside this string then we will write it as true okay so similarly we will check it for numbers also so right here else if and inside this else if we will check if s of i is greater or equals to 48 and s of i is less equals to 57 that is if this is a, a numeric value then we will do this num as true 
So our initial num was false. And if we find any number inside the string, then we'll do the num as true. So num will be true. Okay, so in this way, the whole for loop will be iterate in this string s from 0 to the length of the string. And after that, so after that, write your variable like int s and this will store the and inside this result will store num and capital. So that means if these two are true, that is num becomes true and capital becomes true, that is number is fine and the capital letter is fine then this will be 1 otherwise this result will be false so if num is 1 and capital is 1 then the result will be 1 okay so finally we'll return this so the result will return 0 or 1 so if the result returns 0 then it is invalid and if the result returns 1 then it is valid and so this is complete and we'll display the result so right here see out so let's run it okay there is an error so we have right here backslash so okay let's run it okay give some string input here suppose we want to give one two three four five six so all are the numbers so let's see so it is zero perfect so let's run it again give some input like a b c a b c and one two and then slash okay it is zero and this is perfect so let's some input like the valid password so one so we cannot start with numbers so right here so right here like a b c and then three four and then space and then capital letter so i o okay enter and this is one and this is perfect okay so if you give space here this will be written zero and this is not valid and then this will not be treated as valid and this is a valid password okay okay friends so hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video and you find this video helpful then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it will be helpful for your upcoming examination okay friends thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video till then take care